every time the Chinese the people they know that I'm from Russia, they're like, oh, fighting country. <laughs> like it's always so so funny. <laughs> And there's like a lot of different food, like the shao kao. Some of that I find like quite strange, like the, the, the crickets, like roaches. I guess like, like for Russian who came to China for the first time, they see that people eat like the crickets and like other insects, yeah, they're gonna be like sure. In Russia, there's like no, like the whole street food culture like in China. Basically in China, there are a lot of people, like the small shops like on the wheels. The, the, the first time I ever see this is in China. When I first arrived in China, I have no idea how to communicate. Then like after one week, I was able to like say basic things like ni hao. The more I was attending classes, the better I get to know China and uh, adapt to Chinese culture better. Like my knowledge of China was like kind of outdated. I was like quite shocked about the like technological development. When I first see like people, they never use like money. They use QR code. How is it possible to like only pay with your phone? Digital currency is one of the things that might be used in the metaverse. I guess like China is first in the world to involve this on like the actual like digital yuan because they gonna be the future. I've been to a couple places in Hanyang, the Dongshang Park. This was the university trip, and we were studying the IT channel. We were like the first time, like trying the different things. Also, I've been to Lantern Museum. They were like presented a lot of different lanterns, and also they allowed us to build our own lanterns. Yeah, I was like gluing it together and painting, so it was a very interesting experience. First year we had a lot of courses in the international communication. I think it's is very important, especially in the business field. And if you do international relationships, you need to know how to respect the culture, how to understand the cultural differences. Maybe if I study in China, like about communication and management, I will be able to help strengthen the relationships between Russia and China. And right now, like Russia, they work closely with China. And they are going to deploy, I think, this year the Russian currency, digital rubble. Russian government, they are trying to get Chinese way of doing things. I also implement their whole main system in Russia because it works so very good in China. So like, it's always a good idea to implement it in your own country. After graduating here, I'll be able like, to find a job, especially maybe in the Russian Chinese business, in the company that helps or supplies things to Russia, so I can like, be a, a Russian person here in China. I feel like a Russian future is bound with China, so I guess like, we are going to be with China and the Middle East countries like, kind of together.